I'm back. Even though no one realized I was gone because no one watches these freaking videos anyways. I've mainly been gone because I haven't been doing much. I have mainly just been watching Bones and Dance Moms and playing video games. Um, which is probably pretty much all I'm going to do today. But I figured I should film because it's been a while. Um, I'm currently not wearing pants because I'm super classy. It's actually because I got away myself. I haven't been being that healthy lately. I've been eating a lot of crap and being lazy. Um, but starting today, I'm going to try to eat less and better. And the results are... That's not that bad. Alright, so I got myself right in. I'm going to shower to fix the monstrosity that my hair has become. And then, yeah, we'll see what today has to offer. Alright, so I just got done making me some breakfast. Um, but before I eat it, I want to address something that's been happening the last couple days. Um, as you may or may not know, I love binge watching. And again, as you may or may not know, lately I've been watching a lot of Dance Moms. I'm cur I currently just started season 5 and I think it's going to be the last season. But while I was watching it, like I do, I sent out a tweet. And so I would like to preface whatever that word is. This by saying, there are two sides to every story. There's her side, there's my side, and there's the truth. And the truth is that I started drama and then Kathy Nesbitt Stein from Candy Apples dragged my ass and then I didn't like it anymore. But that's not my side of what happened. This is my side. And that basically means that I'm going to be like Melissa. I'm going to know I was wrong, but I'm going to deny everything. So basically what started was I got really annoyed with Kathy in one of the episodes I was watching because she was sitting in the audience with like a friend or something just crap talking little children, little girls dancing. And not constructive criticism, not nice things. It was just being rude. It, that's just straight up what it was. And even if the girls can hear them at the time, she knows that at some point those little kids are going to watch and they're going to hear her and it'll probably hurt their feelings. And so that's just kind of screwed up for her to do. And she tried to blame editing, but they can't edit things in that you did not say. And there's no way what you said can't be taken out of context, but whatever. So I said something that I believe was totally innocent, which was... You are a human trash bag filled with expired mango mayo. If you're a bitch, I'm going to be a bitch right back. You know, like you do. So she responded, laugh out loud, not LOL. She fully sp spelt it out. And again, I could have left it there. But then I made fun of the fact that she spelt out LOL instead of just letting go, leaving it be, knowing Kathy is not one that's going to let this rest. And so it escalated. She commented on my Twitter bio which says that my mom thinks I'm funny and she told me that it's good my mom thinks I'm funny because my prospects aren't looking good elsewhere to which I responded that I will trust her on that because if anyone knows a joke it would be someone whose career is a joke that escalated things she brought up what's your career because my career and so I played that I'm dying I almost died card it's a I had nothing I was wrong, and I didn't want to admit I was wrong. So, I played the I'm dying card because it's a good card to play. Did not back her off. And she's like, block me, and then you, I'll claim you in my bio. And I was like, you claim me in your bio, I'll claim you in my obituary. How's that sound? But she went through some of my selfies, and she'd comment like, no one's gonna watch your YouTube video. Note your lack of subs for your followers, bitch. She didn't say bitch. I added that. I feel like in her mind she called me a bitch, though. It's a very Kathy thing to do. Where I commented that I was tired but still adorable, and she told me that self-praise stinks. Hashtag adorable. Hashtag really. And so, yeah. She stopped fighting me currently, but it's been go it, this has been going on for a couple days, so I imagine tomorrow, tonight at, like, midnight, she's gonna be back with some new shit to say. I think I'm not supposed to curse in this. At one point, she said, well, where is it? She told me I better block her 
because this is just the beginning of her jack in my ass. That's legit what she said, jack in my ass. Which, first of all, what is this? Is this Grand Theft Auto? Is she gonna steal my car? And second, her Twitter name is Poodle Toes One. First of all, do you know how extremely embarrassing it is to get trashed and dragged by someone whose Twitter name is Poodle Toes? That is humiliating. But second of all, what the hell are Poodle Toes? Is that like a degenerative foot disease that has the reason that you can't yourself dance? Nope. Nope. We're not, we're not starting more drama. Whatever. I'm over the fighting with Kathy. If she has more to say, I'm gonna let her say it, but I'm not gonna block her. And I'm not gonna take back what I said. I admitted that I probably shouldn't have said it to her. And I can't do anything else. But if she wants to continue going through my video, my pictures and calling me ugly, she can have at it. Apparently she has fans, but there's only one fan that's commenting to me. And th her name is Reba's Little Diva. Oh dear God, what kind of people did I start a fight with? Who is acting like Kathy is, like she's acting like Chris Crocker, circa early 2000s. Leave Kathy alone! She's so innocent and sweet and caring! She doesn't deserve this! Like, you shut up. You shut up, little Reba. She fine. She can give it like she gives it on that show and in real life. She doesn't need you to go in there. You're bullying her! I'm not bullying her. The first tweet... Might have been bullying, but now it's just an it's just an exchange of insults. It's a level playing field. And in a surprising turn of events, I'm gonna take a nap. Okay, so I'm awake now. My mom will be here before two two. I could sleep until like two thousand and eight, like eighteen. I'm so tired. So remember what I said about being healthy today? Scratch that because bacon, mac, and cheese. Okay, lies. I'm still super healthy. I can eat this entire box, which I probably will, and I still have 100 calories left for the day. So I'm fine. And my mom is upset because <laughs> she doesn't seem to think that's fair. Time to play video games. Okay, there's a woman. She got white shoes. Ooh, creeper. Get out. Yeah, get out the road, ma'am. Now, who this guy? He walked like the creeper from Scooby-Doo. In LNUR, when given the opportunity, I choose not to drive. Because I drive like I drive in Grand Theft Auto. And apparently, when you are a member of the LAPD, it is frowned upon to plow into pedestrians. Okay, so. I solved the murder. Hurrah. For justice, um, I'm gonna edit this and go to sleep. So I will see you guys when I see you. Bye bye.